Welcome back to the channel. So today I wanted to take you guys through Nashville, show you some of my favorite street photography spots. If you're new to Nashville, if you're a tourist or if you're a local and you're trying to get more into photography, hopefully me showing you these different spots will kind of help you open your creative mind. So the new possibilities of what is street photography. That's all I got. All right. So right now we are at City Hall. This is always my first stop. So while we're here, we'll kind of get some warm-up shots, get our settings right. Uh, I already like how these lights are, so I'm gonna try and get these lined up so there's nice symmetry, leading lines. That turned out good. My settings are straight. All right, cool. We're moving on. But if you see a bus, you go. Because buses, 100% of the time, make great photos. That's not even a cap, that's the truth. All right, so first location, this is the business district of Nashville. I love the business district. It's got uh, a lot of men in suits, if you're looking for suits. If you're looking for urban, if you're looking for underground, this has a little bit of everything. It's really nothing but businesses and just underground spots. So we're gonna do a little bit of traveling through the business district, try and find some great photos, find some uh, some shit. We're gonna get into some shit, 100%. with street photography taking pictures of people you just you gotta commit you gotta do it fuck it i don't give a shit <laughs> right there that's what do you guys think should we check this out or should we keep moving forward no, let's check it out. all right let's go check it out Coronavirus is no joke. Scary stuff. Hashtag coronavirus. So yeah, that's basically business district. Like I said, you're gonna find a lot of businessmen, a lot of lights in odd places, a lot of symmetry, and a lot of architecture, a lot of building photography. So, building district gets a plus from me. All right, so next we're heading to Fritter's Alley. Fritter's Alley, one of my favorite spots for street photography. You're always gonna find weird ass people, you're gonna find dope ass lights. I don't even know how to describe it. Like maybe old 60s, 50s with like a dash of modern. Shit ton of urban life. Shout out, Mental. Like 
baby cave. Make sure you get on this road. Those two little red lights right there, taking so many photos there. So many, it's not even funny. The red light just smacks. Fuck it up, full send it, no half cents. Second Avenue has that very brick tile, like brick building, old style business feel. Yeah, so if you're just looking for some chill, relaxing, just shots and you don't wanna go to Broadway, it's still a pretty touristy area. There's still a bunch of fucks. But for the most part, Second Avenue is not that bad. It's pretty cool. Shout out mental illness. Bridgestone area, I call it that because it's fucking Bridgestone owns almost everything on the strip. It's almost like if Second Avenue and the business district had a baby with a sprinkle of Printer's Alley, this is it. Like sell crack here, you can stab someone in the balls. It doesn't matter. Don't do that. Whatever you want to do. Yeah, don't do it. I'm just saying, like, if you want it.
guys want to be in a YouTube video? I love taking pictures of traffic. All right, we're heading back. Sorry, the rain. Uh, it's cold as fuck, so I don't know if this is healthy for us to be out here. But my last spot and recommendation, which is the same thing said twice, Cumberland River, you know, Riverside of downtown, all the way down. If you want to take a look, like these lights, and it really looks sick with the reflection of the water. It's just, oh my God, I fucking love this. 99% of the time, I finish out my shoots with the Cumberland River. All right, we're leaving Seth. He doesn't know. Poor guy. Yeah, if you were thinking about subscribing to him, just subscribe to me instead. I'll take his subscribers. Uh, if you guys want, subscribe to me, not Seth. And also, if you were thinking about liking the video, disliking the video, you should probably just go ahead and like it because the dislike button I heard is a little too far to the right. And if you move to the right too far, you can get a muscle spasm in your hand and it just calls for a really bad time. It's not fun. And uh, comments, comment section, God, blow it up. Are you kidding me? I said something stupid, made you mad, made you glad, said something inappropriate. Leave a comment about this, dude. What's Apple gonna do to fix it? So yeah, just hit up the comments. Let me know what type of photography you wanna see me do next. I'll fucking do it, I don't care. But with that being said, I wanna thank everybody so much for watching. But yeah, so. Bye. Shout out mental illness.